Hello, welcome to everyone. In this video, this is a lecture number two of classical mechanics problem solution. Uh, you actually discuss the question or problem asked in this book that is the mechanics and properties of matter by A. V. Gupta. In the first lecture, we discuss uh, question number one to ten of chapter one, which is considered the basic idea uh, that is the velocity and acceleration. Right. In this lecture, we want to discuss question number eleven to twenty of this. chapter of this book so let's start with question number 11 and there are various type of uh, um, physics part are uh, different playlist are given in the description box if you want you can go through description box link are given there so let's start today's question that is question number 11 which says a train travels the first half of its distance between two station at a speed of v1 so uh, a first half uh, of distance is v1 and the second of the uh, half distance is with the speed of v2 so what will be the time taken in the first uh, distance first distance d if you take this is d and this is also d so the time is nothing but d by v1 and the next half the time will be d by v2 and the average speed is nothing but total distance by total time what will be the total distance d plus d and total time is t1 plus t2 that is the d by v1 plus d by v2 so if you just taking this 2d and d is common so 1 by v1 plus 1 by v2 that is v1 plus v2 by v1 v2 this will be in what so this is v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 so this become 2 v1 v2 by v1 plus v2 this is the average speed of this train go to the next one next question says in this figure the masses of two bodies are equal so this mass of two bodies are equal there is no friction and phi is greater than this angle is greater than this theta if the system is released from rest if there is no nothing force just rest is released what will be the velocity does the system acquire in the describing a distance d so you need to find out the distance uh, velocity at distance d of this system now for that in the equilibrium the force uh, equation the equation of motion can be written for this equation you can see this is along the uh, along this the force will be mg m into g and this angle phi means there is angle phi and this is angle phi so this will be mg cos phi and along that this is mg sin phi so you can see here if we take the acceleration along that direction then this is t and this is mg sin phi so the equation of motion can be written as mg sin phi minus t this is mg sin phi minus t equals to mass into acceleration net force equal to mass into acceleration for that particular uh, body number 2 body this is t so t minus mg sin theta the, along that this is mg sin theta similarly you can uh, write down here nothing else this is mg and this is mg cos theta because this is theta so this is mg cos theta and the, along that this is mg sin theta right so you can write uh, easily t minus mg sin theta equal to mass into acceleration so adding these two things you will be get mg sin theta minus uh, sin phi minus sin theta so this will becomes acceleration equal to like that since phi is greater than theta so our assumption that is uh, along that direction actually happen if this is negative so this will be in the opposite direction right since this is positive so this is the acceleration now you need to find out the distance the distance uh, or the relative what is the velocity so you need to find out the velocity at distance d you know the formula that is v square equal to u square plus 2 a s v is the velocity u is the initial velocity which is 0 2 a a is the acceleration s is the distance d so uh, you, uh, with this equation you will easily find out the velocity of this system after describing the path d clear go to the next one Next question says establish the following relation E R dot equal to theta dot E theta cap plus sine theta phi cap E phi cap. That is the uh, unit vector along R. The dot means derivative with respect to time. This is unit vector along theta. This is unit vector along phi. Right. So you need to uh, derive this equation. For that you need to know about this uh, discussion which you discussed in the theoretical part. of classical mechanics whose link are given in description box you can get this relation that is r cap r cap is nothing but e r cap r cap is nothing but e r cap this is theta cap and this is the phi cap okay so this three expression you will be get in detail in the theoretical class which available in the 
YouTube. This link are given in description box. So we take these three equation written R cap as a R cap, theta cap as a theta cap, and phi cap. So if you derivative with respect to time of this equation, you will be get since i cap is constant, is no time variation, so its derivative is zero. You need to take these two derivatives. So you take this derivative sine theta derivative is cos theta and theta dot and cos phi written here. Similarly, cos phi derivative is minus sine phi into phi dot and sine theta written here. Similarly, for j cap there is two term and for k cap this is term. If you take the uh, constant uh, common of theta dot from theta dot you will be get this one here from theta dot this one and from theta dot this one. You can see this is nothing but the e theta cap. Similarly, for phi cap, if you take the common phi cap, you will be get this thing and this is nothing but d phi cap. So, very easily you can find out this relation, right? Similarly, for e theta, if you derivative with respect to time, you can get the for i cap, there is two term, for j cap, there is two term and for k cap. Now, take the theta dot as a common and the phi dot as a common, you can easily find out the next relation also, very easy. For third relation, you just uh, take two parts, or two sides, that is e phi dot equal to like that, that is the derivative with respect to time, and take the right hand side and uh, put this value, you get, you get the same things, these two, so this one is that one, okay. So I think clear, if there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. To go to the next one. Next question says, two car moves in the same direction with the same speed of 30 km per hour. So these two are uh, car are within the same speed and the same direction. They are separated by a distance 10 km. Their separation is 10 km. A third car moving in the opposite direction meet these two car at the interval of 8 minutes. So when uh, this meet at here and after that you will meet here with the 8 minutes. So if you consider at that um, when this meet, this is the starting point, then the speed of this car with respect to that one is nothing but the addition of this thing because they are in opposite direction. So this uh, speed is nothing but the v plus 30 and the speed is nothing but distance by time. So distance is 10 kilometer and time is 8 minute. 8 minute uh, converted into hour is 2 by 5, 15 hour. So if you put this velocity equal to distance by time, you will be get this relation. So V equals to nothing but this 15 into 10 by 2, that is 5 into 7, uh, 15, that is 75 minus 30, that is 45 kilometer per hour. This is the speed of this car, which is, uh, uh, occur in the opposite direction. Clear? Next question. Next question says, a man moves relative to water with a velocity half to the river uh, flow velocity. So, this velocity is half. At the what angle, the stream direction must be minimized the drifting. So, this V cos phi is nothing but the half of this velocity that is V by 2. So, from here, phi equals to 60 degree. That is theta. That angle will be 120 degree. Next question. Two bodies start to fall from the same height at an interval of tau second. So there is two body, body A and B, they fall in that after tau second. Calculate the, after what time t, the first body started, the distance separation will be d. So the time t is from some first body and the second body travel t minus tau because their interval is tau. So the distance travel by particle A is half gt square because initial velocity is zero. And for particle B, that is half g t minus tau because this time will be t minus tau whole square. So that this separation will be the minus of these two distance. You will be get this one and rearranging them, you will be get the value of time that is t like that. Simple. Next question. Next question say a bullet moving at the rate v1 centimeter per second passes through a thin plank and comes out with velocity v2. So the, this is v1 and this is v2. It then passes through the another identical plank, then the velocity will be second plank will be like that. So this is V1, this is V2 and after that this will be V2 and this is become. You need to find out this V3. You know the relation V square equal to U square minus 2 A is because they are occur in retardation. They are occur retardation. So V2 square equal to V1 square minus 2 A T. So 2 A T will be like that. Again for that second case, this is first case. In the second case, this is V3 square equal to V2 square minus 2 A T. So, this is V3 square equal to V2 square minus 
to at equal to like that so after rearranging them you will be get the value of v3 which is root under 2 v2 square minus v1 square clear go to the next one the law of motion for the point a uh, of the rim of a wheel running uniformly along a horizontal path right so this roll out along the horizontal path where x equals to and y equal to written here in terms of time so that the velocity v and the acceleration of the of the point a are given by this so this is the velocity of a and this is the acceleration also so that the distance is traveled between two successive contact uh, with the road will be s equal to 8 that's been when a is contact here and after that when a is contact here this distance will be 8a clear we need to prove that one also so the position vector can be written as i cap x plus j cap y so x is like that y is like that so the velocity will be nothing but the derivative of the position vector if you derivative with respect to time you will be get this one so the value of the velocity is nothing but root under i coefficient of i cap square plus coefficient of j cap square and if you take this common a omega and after that if you take this 1 minus 2 cos omega t plus cos square omega t and this is sin square omega t this becomes 1 so 1 plus 1 2 and this 2 common out root 2 1 minus cos 2 omega t which can be written as 2 sin square omega t by 2 this root 2 root 2 becomes 2 and sin square becomes sin omega t by 2 simple and the value of this acceleration equals to nothing but root under a omega square sin omega t is whole square a omega square sin omega t is cos omega t whole square a omega square taken as common sin square plus cos square which is 1 so this is a omega square now you need to find out this uh, proof you, ne you need to prove this one that is his contact uh, and that then the y is 0 because this distance is y so y is 0 at that point so if you put the y is 0 you will be get cos omega t is 1 cos omega t 1 means this is 0 or 2 pi to successive so 0 2 pi so the distance uh, is v into dt so dt converted into omega t so integration will be like that omega t equals to 0 to 2 pi you will finally get this 8 i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box go to the next question next question says the velocity of a particle given by this this is the velocity of a particle the displacement vector r0 at time t equals to 0 is r0 0 equal to so at t equals to 0 the displacement will rise find the position vector as a function of time so the position vector as a function of time integration dot dot means velocity into t so this uh, taking the integration you will be get that one this constant can be find out by this initial condition that is t equal to 0 r 0 equal to like that put this value you will be get the constant value is this so if you put this constant value you can see there is no i cap so i cap is as it is but in j cap this is 4 t to the power 4 plus 4 so taken 4 as a common and then k cap will be add of this thing will be like that so i think clear there is no doubt i think if there is any doubt more must comment in the comment box next question and the last question of this video which says three particles are located at the vertex of an equilateral triangle of side a this is an equilateral triangle whose size is a and these particles are located at that one each of the particles started to move with a speed v all is move with speed uh, with the first particle holding continually for the second and second for third and third for first when they particularly meet to each other right so as you can see here when we consider uh, particle 2 their velocity v the component of along that direction is v cos 60 and this v1 is towards the particle 2 so the velocity approach of particle 1 towards 2 is nothing but this v minus of that one right minus of that one you will be get 3v by 2 and the time is nothing but the distance by velocity this distance is a and the reaching velocity approaching velocity you can see this approaching velocity will be like that put this value you can easily find out this answer i think clear if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can connect with me with this telegram channel and this is my online platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you will get different related video and some mathematics part also 
like this session if you learn something from this session share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you are new in this channel the lord is subscribe thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you